Hello, today I'm going to show you uh, what is the difference uh, between Telnet and SSH. Uh, what is the security difference between those two protocols? Uh, uh, we are going to use uh, Wireshark so to see how easily using Telnet a bad person, a hacker can just tap your uh, connection and grab your passwords, grab your conversations and everything you do via Telnet. So we're going to use Wireshark. Uh, let's use our Ethernet and start capturing packets. And we, we are going, going to use a free Telnet server, alt.org telnet open so we established a connection to a server and I'm going to just type some personal details let's assume that this is a registration and um, we can assume now that the hacker is capturing the packets uh, from our connections he's a bad guy in our network and he's uh, trying to monitor us and grab as much details as uh, he can. Uh, with Telnet, it uses uh, no encryption at all. It connects to port 23 and all the text it sends, it's in plain text. Uh, the difference with SSH is that SSH is using an encryption and everything you send is scrambled so no one can uh, monitor them. So we are connected, let's uh, register. A new user, the Wireshark is capturing. As we see here, the Telnet sessions, it's already capturing. And welcome, new user. Let's type a username. Let me put this here. Put this on the. Okay. Uh, let's register. And let's put uh, test user one. Let's use the one. Okay. Let's let's try again. Alt.org register test user one two three two one. Uh, password. Let's put one two three four five six. Uh, as you can see, the password is not appeared in the session uh, window, but we can see how easily later we can take this password uh, via the YXR. Enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again, let's put test mail at hotmail.com. And let's put, uh, let's uh, show the server info. Okay, that's it. Let's stop the, the capturing. Let's find the Telnet session that we are interested for and let's follow the TCP stream. So as you can see here, <coughs> um, this is the whole Telnet session between uh, the server and us. So as you can see, the, the pink is what we sent as a client and the the purple is what the server sends. So as you can see here, we can see all the details in plain text, everything. Welcome new user, please enter a username. We can see here the test user we type and we can easily check the password. Number of characters, password, one, two, three, four, five, six. You remember in the Telnet session, we were not able to, to see it on the screen. But uh, the packets through the packet capturing, we can see the password easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the email address we typed, the server info. This is NetHack. As you can see here, everything. So this is how a hacker can capture uh, our entire session and capture us, uh, grab the passwords, usernames, emails, everything. This is why we use uh, 
uh, uh, SSH uh, the encrypt, uh, which encrypts the session and we cannot see anything so let's try SSH now let's close the telnet connection I'm going to use a local server I have a media server I have let's first uh, initiate Wireshark so he, it can start capturing the packets okay let's initiate a connection to a media server I have at home SSH version 2 you see the packet started it started capturing the packets between the SSH session and as you can see here it's already scrubbed uh, let's log in as root password and we are inside our system so let's do some commands mm. okay. okay this is a raspberry open elec and it's not supporting all the commands so let's this is enough for us to see to check if the wire shark captured any of the inputs uh, we typed in uh, the session so let's check uh, ssh version 2 follow tcp stream okay so as you can see here that's the the exchange the data exchange between the server and uh, us the client so as you can see here all the data sent through an SSH connection an SSH session they are all scrambled so you cannot recognize anything so if you, the SSH protocol is using a strong encryption uh, and here in our case this is the application layer because uh, Wireshark is following the Aussie layers so this is the application layer and as you can see SSH is reporting that is using AES uh, AES uh, 256 uh, encryption and that was our demonstration i hope you enjoyed and learned that we never 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 use uh, a telnet to connect anywhere it's very dangerous thank you